What is going on everybody? The Iceman here on the Iceman's Return YouTube channel on this Wednesday, July 20th. And tonight we have Fighter Fest 2. And it's going to be a battle of Jericho and Eddie Kingston once again. This time with barbed wire everywhere in the ring it will probably main event i would assume because you'd have to clean up the ring after this match if it was early on so yeah but how many people are sort of like getting tired of seeing a bloody mess match on dynamite uh i for one am and I think what they're trying to do is because with all the injuries, they're trying to come up with something that is going to appeal to the fans. But if you notice lately with all the injuries, you know, with Adam Cole being out and CM Punk still being out, which he's still right now, he should not be champion, you know, but I digress with that. Um, and then you have Red Dragon out. Um, amongst Daniel Bryan and others, where's Hangman Page? What are they doing with Hangman Page? I just don't understand. I just don't understand the mentality. They keep bringing in new people, and they keep focusing on them, and the guys that have worked their ass off for this company just seem to get pushed back, and Hangman is one of them. And, you know, it bothers me, um, and they wonder... In so many ways, why can't they break and keep breaking that million dollar viewers, the, the million viewership mark on Wednesday nights? And people get turned off. I mean, they they honestly do. You know, now you got Claudio Casanoli in. Um, he hasn't lost a match in AEW. And it, it just... I don't know. Put big guys against big guys. I've often said this. Before Hangman lost to Punk, Hangman at double or nothing should have faced Chris Jericho and had a rematch of that opening title match for AEW in which Jericho won to become the first AEW champion. But, you know, they didn't do that. Um... Hangman could have wrestled Moxley. They don't want to put these big guys together like that. I, I, I just, I don't understand. And, and I really don't understand. Um, so, you know, I used to be the guy that would 8 o'clock tune in on TNT when they were on TNT and now TBS. And it's like, if I miss it, I'll watch it the next day. Um, they don't do anything to appeal to me to make me want to watch. Although, I will say this, their matches are usually pretty good. And, you know, and then I have a problem with, why is the gun club on all the time? I mean, seriously, if you're not going to do nothing with them, why are you showcasing them? It just don't make any sense to me. I don't get it. But. It is what it is, and that's Tony Khan. But I think the bigger factor is... Oh, phone call? Well, I can dismiss that. The bigger factor is that there are rumors that... Let me just get rid of this phone call because... Sometimes they, you know, they come at the wrong time and they're very annoying. And they're usually robotic phone calls, scam calls anyway. The rumor is that it all out, and this possibly could be the reason why the Young Bucks lost the tag titles, is Kenny Omega will be back, and he will be doing a trios match with the Young Bucks, and this is going to pave the way probably for a trios tag belt, which I think right now AEW has too many belts. Um... 
And unless they decide to come up with a third show for Ring of Honor, I just think there's too many belts to deal with. And you're not, you know, I don't know. But then again, you know, you read the fans want Omega back. But here's the thing. I think Kenny Omega coming back has to be a face. I think this would be totally messed up for AEW to bring Omega back as a heel and team up with the Young Bucks unless they turn face, which right now their heel run has been so good. So, I, you know, I don't know. But honestly, the, they, they need... They need somebody to take over while Punk is out. And quite honestly, everybody knows my opinion on CM Punk. He's, you know, he's a legend in wrestling. He don't have the skills that he used to have. He should have never beat Hangman Page. And if he ends up beating John Moxley, to me, you know, I get it. It's a money thing. But to me, it's just bull. It's totally bull. Because Punk is not good enough to be either Hangman or Moxley, for that matter. And after, after he beats Moxley, will it be Kenny Omega? And if, and it, and if it is, and he faces Omega and he beats Omega, come on. Come on. That's totally ridiculous. So, you know, I really don't know. But right now, I just... AEW, you, you're going in every different direction, and I really don't like it. Um, have some uh, continuity. You know, you build up a match on... A dynamite for a rampage and on a rampage for dynamite to me that's not the way to go and then the thing of it is you got it you know you're so much like wwe now you know you started off you were like wcw but you're, you're much like wwe and if you're gonna be like wwe you need to start having title rematches i mean seriously once an AEW champion loses, he doesn't get a rematch. And, you know, Hangman Page has been lost out of the picture after losing the Punk, and it made no sense. It made no sense. They should have had Hangman win that battle royal on Rampage and face Moxley. And then, you know, so be it. That would, you know, Moxley wins. No problem. But, it would be such a better match than Moxley facing Brody King. They're just they're just throwing waves at Moxley, you know, for guys to beat until Punk comes back. And the rumor is he's supposed to be back for All Out in Chicago. And yeah, it'll be a big return for Punk. But you know, quite honestly, you know, I wish he never got the title. I don't think he's deserving of it. And then right after he gets it. The following Wednesday, he gets injured. You should have stripped him of the belt because how often, you know, I don't, I, it, it just don't make sense. I'm tired of these interim belts. And a lot of people may say, well, at least it, you know, it attracts attention because there are titles on the line, but I really don't care. You know, you get injured and you're out for a long time. Get stripped, you know, and if you're that good enough and the company thinks you're, you know, uh, going to be a big moneymaker, then come back and get win the belt. But the way they're doing it, I don't care for, and it is what it is. So anyway, on this Wednesday, after a Tuesday night All-Star game where the American League won 3-2, to two, this is the Iceman on the Iceman's Return YouTube channel. Peace out, everybody, and we'll see you all next time.